This is music and this is a bunch of skulls for the mighty middle Marty Mac. Metal Marty Mac, the mighty one, has reached 400 subscribers. Congratulations, that's awesome. To celebrate that, he has launched a contest. It's very simple. Just show him some album covers that have skulls on them, because he likes skulls and collects skulls. Uh, so, let's just get to it. I got a bunch of skulls for sure. Up first, here we have Acid, self-titled. Do have four skulls on it uh, and I kind of like the well actually five skulls on it I like the sort of raw uh, and unrefined uh, art style here um, great stuff and also fantastic just traditional metal meets speed metal uh, some more kind of speed thrashy kind of stuff um, Adam Kraft uh, future warriors uh, you got a skull here uh, wearing some kind of helmet and it has red glowing eyes so there you go um, up next a classic you can't talk skulls and not show this one here epicus dumicus metallicus by candlemas have this uh, skull that's been kind of impaled twice to make it look like there's kind of like a cross going through it. So there you go. The next one is a bit more abstract, a bit more stylized, but there is a skull in it. Celtic Frosts, uh, Morbid Tales. This is the reissue, so it's heavy as shit. But you got a skull right in the middle here of this kind of, almost kind of like crest here. Um, great stuff. Up next, uh, Sirith Ungol, King of the Dead. And I guess it's the King of the Dead that's being faced by some kind of barbarian warrior here. And the King of the Dead obviously has a skull for a face. So there you go. Up next, I don't know if this counts. Uh, it's not a human skull. I don't know, it's some kind of monster skull or something like that. But Deadhead, uh, the feast begins at dawn. Fantastic thrash metal, maybe even death thrash. Uh, you have this weird skull with horns everywhere. So there you go. Up next, uh, a recent acquisition of mine, uh, Lying in Wait by Depressive Age. They had a massive hit in the form of Eternal Twin. And you got one skull, you got two skulls here, both attached to almost like complete skeletons. So that is cool. Up next, in more of a funny looking kind of skull, but I think it counts as a skull. You got this kind of Medusa skull thing going on here. Um, destruction um, and you've got like snakes growing out of its head there you go up next uh, we have primal touch here and I am deliberately covering up some peen because there is some peen on this cover artwork and you know how YouTube feels about things like that but you got a dude here uh, and he's sort of holding a skull up uh, in front of his face. This is great thrash metal. I have lots of good memories just going to shows with uh, these guys. Up next, a more kind of stylized skull again. Harder attack human. Uh, crossover thrash. Great stuff. Really enjoy this. Uh, it has nuclear assault connections. And you have this kind of, I don't know if it's kind of like a graffiti skull or something like that. But I really like that, so that is great. Harder attack, and by the way, this is not the, this is not the reissue. This is the OG with the legendary hype sticker on it. So there you go. Up next, <clears throat> we have two skulls here, um, <clears throat> and this Iron Maiden, the Final Frontier. Not my favorite Maiden album, but I have actually grown to appreciate it more over the years. I actually, have three skulls. So you have this here, this here, and this here. They obviously are not human skulls. They're some kind of alien skull. Uh, maybe they got some horns sticking out and some fangs and shit. Uh, but yeah, I think they count as skulls. Going back to a more kind of a crest stylized kind of thing. Jack Panzer, Chain of Command. 
bang, a skull right in the middle. Great thrash metal. Um, so that's nice. Up next, we have another kind of weird skull. This is hardcore punk. Mongo Manch Gato. Uh, death can be hazardous to your health. And you got this weird skull with some kind of like claws coming out of it. Massive horns. And then it says, Gato. So there you go. This is kind of weird, hardcore punk, but kind of fun. Up next, I don't know, this one might be problematic, uh, but Milaya Rage, Kill to Survive, have this um, uh, skeleton in a sort of, uh, sort of feather headdress kind of Native American um, outfit, has a skull here, and as you can see in the background, you have lots of dead... Um, people that are probably not native americans so it's probably you know soldiers and you got this native american skeleton having killed the shit out of him maybe maybe um retaliation for all the massacres and all that stuff they did anyways nuclear assault actually here they are survived there's a kind of skull kind of in the nuclear smoke coming out of the uh, um nuclear reactors here great crossover with the thrash as well um staying in the world of thrash circus of death quick change there is it's also great thrash metal somebody tearing their head or their face off and then there's this skull looking out underneath there you go and yeah we can't really talk skulls without showing this right Running Wilds, Pile of Skull, fantastic album in my opinion. I was considering maybe being kind of, of uh, I don't know, smarter than my own good or whatever and showing like another Running Wild album that might have the skull and crossbones. But you know what? Let's just go for Pile of Skulls. And I guess another video that we can't, or video, album we can't really ignore if we talk skulls, Legacy. By testament that's a kind of a skull or something shrunken head maybe on the way to being a skull i don't know but yeah i think it's a skull and i guess another one that we sort of can't ignore because it's actually called the skull uh by trouble doom metal and of course the skull is sort of down here so it's actually not a super obvious skull um and you also have like a ghostly face up here uh but yeah, The Skull by Trouble, Doom Metal. And last, and I think that's like 20 skulls already, Sabotage or Sabotage. I can, I don't, well, whatever. I'm, I call them Sabotage. Uh, the Dungeons Are Calling, just half the cover artwork. That's a skull. So there you go. Uh, a bunch of skulls for Metal Marty Mac. Again, congratulations on the 400 subs. It's amazing. Uh, go and check out his channel if you don't know it. He makes lots of really cool videos about uh, cassette tapes, uh, CDs, um, sometimes uh, DVDs and movies and stuff. And of course, vinyl records and it's all metal themed and stuff like that. So really go and check out his channel. Thanks for watching.